Hello, this has been Mason Heimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm in sunny Newport Beach, California. I'd like to walk you through a boat I've just listed for sale, and I'm really excited to show it to you because this boat is in excellent condition. It's the type of boat I like to deal with, and I'm happy to share it with you. This is a 2008 Tierra 4300 Sovereign. She has just around 840 hours on her. There will be more information down in the description. I'll have a link down there for you to her listing, and you can get things like um, tank size and my phone number to call me to buy it, things like that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here she is. This is a 2008 Tierra Yachts 4300 Sovereign. She's loaded with all the bells and whistles, and I'm really excited to show her to you. She's powered by IPS 600 engines. Those make 435 horsepower each. And uh, really, she's just been very well cared for. She started her life. She was sold new at Wallstrom's Marine in northern Michigan. And from there, she came to Newport Beach, where she has lived with two owners here and possibly a third. We'll see where she ends up. All right, let's go ahead and check her out. Here at our bow, we have a windless anchor with foot controls. This is a stainless steel anchor, and we also have a remote spotlight. The remote spotlight and the windless anchor both have controls at the helm. Uh, so you can adjust those from the helm, and then the windlass you can use from the bow as well. As you can see, she's got great shine on her. Her bottom paint was just done. Really nice bow pad there on the bow. That comes with a cover. Then there's also a white mesh cover that covers the whole windshield. All the metal work looks to be in great shape. Plenty of shine on the hull. And she looks like she's lived the life that she has. Very nice and pampered. Great walkways going forward. Here at the stern, we have an AB tender. I'm gonna call that an 11 or a 10 and a half foot tender. It has a 30 horsepower engine on it. Uh, that's an Evinrude engine. All, uh, all of it, the engine and the boat are 2015 vintage. Here's our stern. The boat's name is Bohemian. Very great name. I really love this uh, custom arch that was added by the last owner. Very well engineered. It does not come down, uh, but just a great uh, cover to offer more shade from our California sun. Here on the transom, we have a uh, locker that will open up. You can get all your lines and fenders in there. Across the way, we have a Glendenny shore power retractor. So that will send out your 50 amp shore power cord and bring it back in for you. Here we have a hot and cold water shower and fresh and raw water wash downs. You do have a couple rod holders on the boat if you'd like to play at fishing. Very generous cockpit. This is what this boat is famous for. The cockpit on this thing is huge. All new JL Audio speakers and subwoofers. Nice table here. Now this table will go down and make a layout area. And all of these seats have storage underneath them. And as you can see, it wraps all the way around. Here's all of our battery switches and our panel. Stepping on up to the bridge deck, we have a wet bar. And below that, we have a refrigerator freezer. Here's your helm companion seating. And again, as you can see, everything's beautiful. This is all original and the upholstery is in great shape. Um, you know, you can see the logos are still looking good, not faded out. We have the optional wood headliner, but yeah, everything's just beautiful. Uh, we have the new seagrass matting in the cockpit and here on the bridge deck. The current owner has added a new fusion stereo with Bluetooth to complement the new speakers that they added. Nice map case here. Across the way, we have the helm. And this is something you look at on these boats. When you see this blue gel coat, is it cracked? Is it faded? This one is not. It's been kept very well. Here's your helm seat. Now this is an adjustable helm seat. There's a switch just here that makes it go forward and back. And as it goes forward, it actually goes up a little bit. There's a bit of storage below, but because this has two zones of air conditioning and heat here on the bridge, there's an air conditioning under there. So that does cut into the storage, but I would rather have the air conditioning and heat. You have these Isinglass windows. These will flip down and enclose this area. And the door, the door section, I believe, slides back and forth um, so that it's easy to get in and out, but this allows you to air condition and heat this area. Great visibility through the UV glass here. This is all polarized. You have a windshield vent. You push a button at the helm. This opens and closes. So yeah, really in good condition. Here at the helm, we have Raymarine E120 Electronics. And this is the full suite. This is from Tierra, so it has everything. 
We have a depth gauge, hour meter. We have uh, 840 hours on one side and uh, just under 840, uh, 839.8 on the other. Here's your Simrad Autopilot, ICOM VHF, and here's your joystick for joystick docking. This is a really great thing to have. Both of these pods on this boat have been rebuilt. Um, one of them was done under the last owner's tenure, and then when this current owner purchased the boat, he did one as well. Spotlight controls, beautiful Tierra mahogany destroyer wheel. Again, fore and aft of your seat. Uh, Lumashore underwater lights were added. AC and heat controls, and again, I mean, here's your throttles. Look at them, no pitting, nothing. Same goes for your panel here. Everything's in great shape. You don't even have corrosion on the rivets of your yacht certification. So, you know, again, this is just a great boat. All right, let's step on down into the salon. Floor is in excellent shape. This is the Teak and Holly floor. Uh, this is a very famous floor that Tierra is known for. They've kind of gone away from it, but you can still order it on a new boat as a special order option. Here's our settee. There's storage under, uh, not under that one, but all these other ones have storage underneath them. And then this table here can go down. This fills in. It makes a massive bed. It's an excellent place to hang out and watch the upgraded television that you have here. And then you have a Bose sound system, generator controls, and an AC-DC panel here. Your other panel would be here. DC on the lower side, AC on the upper side, another zone of uh, heat and air. And then you have GFI switches, uh, tank monitors, more storage here, a little storage right back there. So again, beautiful. These types of boats, you know, the express boat, everyone wants the galley up and whatnot, but if you're gonna do one of these, this is a great one because you have all this natural, natural light, as you can see, and the light just comes on in. The other reason I love this boat is the galley. The galley on these boats is great. We have a convection oven microwave here. Very large fridge freezer. Across the way, here's our galley. We have a two burner stove top here. Plenty of storage. I mean, for a boat of this size, it's an amazing amount of storage. Storage above, storage below, storage going around the corner there. A little spice rack action going here. Um, and then you have two sinks just here under the covers. Right now they have all their um, dehumidifier bags in them, but it's a stainless steel st sink. Faucet pulls out, good water pressure, good hatches. Uh, yeah, everything here, it just is in great shape. Nothing I can really pick on at this point. I like how this lights up and it'll light up either white or blue. Moving forward, we're gonna head into the master. Very, very large bed. I believe at some point this mattress was replaced because it's very comfortable, and that's not usually the case with boat mattresses. Two drawers of storage down below. We've got a updated TV here, and I like how they went with the white and the way they fit that in there just looks beautiful. More storage across the way. Massive hanging locker. They've got stuff in it, so I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it goes way back in there. That's another thing this boat does well. Definitely does the storage well. So under the bed, we have even more storage. Again, everything looks good in here. We have LED light bulbs throughout. Here's the master head. We have a vanity up above, a really beautiful sink, cabinetry below, nice design in the floor there. And back your flush head shower with its own vent and has a little seat there and another opening porthole. Again, the things I'm looking at, conditions of drains, you know, um, that's for the year, that's very good. Drains down here, very good. No pitting or corrosion. Also, I might add, in our build spaces, we have dry storage here and here, really large storage areas. If you'd ordered this boat with the two little uh, chairs that slot in on this side, they would go down here. Also, well, let me just show you. This is where, you see the, the table legs, the short table legs? And that's a massive storage. It goes to either side. 
All right, let's move on. Heading on back, we come to our midship stateroom. Let me get in here and get some more lights on. So here we are in our midship stateroom. As you see, we have two very large twin bunks. Um, storage beneath this one for sure. I think that might be a water tank, but definitely under this one. Lots of storage here. Storage up in this angular kind of rectangular one. Now, you have a hatch here, and a lot of people don't know about this, but if you pull this down, you can actually escape through the floor of the, um, through the deck of the, um, the bridge. In case there was a kitchen fire, you're stuck in here, you go right out the top. So, nice new bedding. Again, these mattresses feel like they're not stock. Again, they've done the LG TV just here. Here we have a hanging locker. Let me get some light on in here. Let's see. Oh, it's just awfully dim, I think. Well, it's just a very low watt. I think they used a very low watt bulb back here because this whole area usually is not this dim. Um, I'm gonna say that these bulbs they bought, yeah, there's just one little tiny light there. You could definitely lighten this up in here. So, here's your shower, adjustable shower head, shower curtain, back your flush head with a lid that comes down over it, and uh, great headroom throughout. I'm six foot four and a half in the afternoon, six foot five in the morning, just depending on how much my spine has collapsed throughout the day. And I have no problems with headroom in here, as you can see, another thing I love about the boat. All right, let's go ahead and check out the engine room. All right, here we are in the engine room. And once again, our theme of cleanliness continues. Everything in here looks to be in very good shape. These are your D6 Volvo Penta engines, legendary engines. And uh, these are the IPS 600 variant, again, 840 hours and uh, both ponds have been resealed uh, in the recent history of the boat, so you should be good to go there. Here we have all brand new batteries, and these are top of the line AGM batteries. Forward to that, we have two air conditioning chillers. Across the way, we have Glen Denny shore power. Uh, this is where your shore power cable will store itself when it reels in. Then we have fresh water, and your head tank is here. Fire suppression system, battery charger, and then we have our generator just here. It's an Onan generator, and I still need to get down there and get the hours out of it, uh, but I'll put a little title in the video. So, beautiful engine room, great condition, and uh, this is going to be a great boat for whoever ends up with it. All right, that's going to conclude our tour of this beautiful 4300 Sovereign. What did you think of her? Please let me know in the comments down below, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. If you're interested in buying this boat or you need help purchasing a boat in the Southern California area or selling a boat, please hit me up at the number you see here on the screen. And I'll also have a link in the description of this video to the listing of this boat where you can find more information about, you know, tankage and uh, specifications. That's where you'll go to get that. And also my email and phone number will be there if you want to hit me up. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you out on the water.